Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and we are going to roll on as... Who are we going to play as? Let's play as... Let's do a Mastema run. I feel like it's been a little bit of time since we've done Mastema. How much we got left to do on Mastema? I don't actually know. We've actually done pretty much everything here. So we're going to go for a beast run by the looks of it. Uh, that's kind of the, the next thing we have left. Um, and then probably want to do some modded, uh, modded, tainted Mastema next, because I think we've got, um, a good few completion marks left as that lad. So we'll, we'll see. Oh my god, what the hell was that? <laughs> that's like, it's like the best champion of that kind I've ever seen. What the hell? It was amazing. Got myself a nickel, um, a thingy, wisp penny, which the wisp is already gone. This is, this room's kind of horrible. <laughs> <laughs> There's just two of these big boys chilling inside this little circle dome bit in the middle, spewing out loads of these little fools. Anyways, we'll continue on. How's everyone been on this fine, fine day? You all having a good time? I would like to know. Um, the dog head thing isn't typically that good, so I think I'm just going to take a random... And we get pointy rib. I'm actually pretty happy with pointy rib. Uh, the damage this thing can output early game is pretty nice. Um, especially if you sort of lean into it as, a, as an item. And try and actually utilize it as much as possible. It does some really good damage. Because I think it does damage based on your own damage. Which means it's <clears throat> able to output quite a bit in the right circumstances. Especially to like bosses and stuff. And if I'm pretty sure it gets buffed with BFF as well. I'm really not liking these enemy <laughs> locations here. Anyhow, anyhow, as for the question of the day today, what's something that's recently made you very happy? What's something that's got you in a good mood? Because there's always, there's always new things to get people in good moods, and I want to know what yours is. Right, there's no point using our um, thingy here prayer card, I don't think. Might as well save it to the next floor, we're not going to get a second heart, I wouldn't think. Good, good. We'll jump in here, and you can see the extra damage we're able to do a point rib. Now, it's not going to be as good with this guy, just because this guy uh, lays a lot of groundwork for keeping us sort of away from him. But, as you can see, it's, it's, it's augmenting our damage pretty darn well. There you go, beautiful stuff. Okay, so there is actually a good reason to use this now, because we gained this, then we can pop this. And we can go and get Golem's Orb, which is also pretty darn good. And yeah, we're going for a beast fight here, so I guess we'll just keep on moving on um, and see what we end up getting. I mean, I'm in a good mood for Isaac today. I don't know why, but today's just feeling like a good Isaac day. Um, I did actually uh, try to... I, I think I mentioned in a previous episode that I'm bringing back Gungeon soon and doing an episode with Alexa. Really excited to get that going. And we, we got on call yesterday, and we spent, like two hours trying to record <laughs> and we didn't get anything done because Steam Remote Play was just being an absolute nuisance um, and Parsec is the most janky thing ever so we ca we couldn't actually get it to work. We eventually did get it to work. But by that point we'd set ourselves like two hours aside to record and by that point it like an hour and 40 minutes of the time we set aside had been used so we were kind of like eh. Not not the most ideal, and then at the minute it's, um, it's Thanksgiving over in America, I believe, so he's not got a lot of time this week. But we're going to do it, hopefully set it up for next week if we can. Um, that's, that's the plan, at least. Um, we, we do still intend to get this recording done at some point. <laughs> right. Lovely little soul hearts here. I'm pretty happy with our HP we've gained so far. Right, what we got going on here? Wrath. Hell yes, and whatever this is, eh, Scooper's fine. I love Wrath though. Wrath is very, very nice. Also makes that character look kind of amazing. The Scooper's fine. It does increase your tier damage, which is a pretty big bonus. And honestly, the creep is like, not that bad. Prayer card here. Yeah, the creep you get out of it is, is really not that bad. It, the only downside is really it being a three-room charge. If it was a two-room charge, I'd be way more enthusiastic about getting it, but on a two-room charge, it feels a little bit meh. Unfortunately, did get it in a room here where it doesn't do much for us, but it managed to do some contact damage there. 
Um, I kind of forgot about this. Um, let's take Angel Deal, shall we? Holy Water, it's a bit bit risky, but it gives us a Holy Mantle when we take it. And I think Holy Water is pretty darn good. Um, it kind of works well with our, um, our Scooper as well, to be honest. Yeah, it puts our health in a slightly more risky position. I love the fact that the Wrath Shots still apply knockback. Makes them kind of really strong for enemies like that that kind of slide around a little bit. But yeah, I'm, I'm as this character, I'm, I'm never ever going to play safe. I'm always going to take basically all the deals that come my way. Because I just think it's way more fun. It's just, yeah, it's just a lot more fun. Not too bad on those guys. I mainly did this for the additional charges, to be honest. Lovely. Peeper's doing a pretty goddamn good job, to be honest. Oop. I want to try and keep this holy mantle for as long as humanly possible, so let's uh, try not to get hit by anything stupid. I'll allow myself to get hit by... Yeah, there you go. That's, that's something stupid right there. I was just talking about how long I wanted to keep that for. I shouldn't have mentioned anything. The moment, the moment I said it, the moment I said it, I said it in stern that I was going to lose it. That, that's, that's just the way it works. That's just the way it works. But yeah, I guess a Steam Remote Play was just an absolute pain in the ass. And then, yeah, I guess I don't know if any of you have used Parsec before, but Parsec is janky. Like, really janky. We, we tried it, and it's just gross. It, it, it feels like, it feels really hacky. Did that guy do a full heart of damage to me? My god. Well, this is obviously something that we're taking. Why did I just... Actually, do you know, do you know what? Do you know what? To be fair, this is better because it's not taking our soul hearts now. And we'll take that as well. Broken shell. It's fine by me. Don't think either of those really lend itself to us, but getting um, nine lives here is pretty darn good for us. Puts us in a very, very good spot going forward. We do have some Giga Bombs to use on bosses and the like now. Nothing in there. We've got a good few little familiars here. One of them is a cat head, but still. Kind of nice to have all these alongside us. But I'm, I am looking forward to getting back into uh, some modded Gungeon, because um, it's been a little while, and kind of the whole reason I've not been recording Gungeon is just to to, to refresh myself, get my, have, have a little break from it, because I was getting just ridiculously burnt out. And uh, on my new PC now, the load times are nowhere near as bad, which is helpful. Um, eh, it's probably not even really that worth it. I mean, it's, eh, maybe if we got a key, it'd be. But I'd have to use a Gigabomb to get it, so I don't really want to do that. Good old baller bandages. I'm going to go and do that other room just to get one more pop of our prayer card. I think it's pretty worthwhile to do so. Before the next floor. The more hearts we can get, the better. Let's not get hit in the meantime. There you go. See, that was worthwhile. Right. Righty her then. Gotta remember that money isn't exactly useful as this guy for shops, so get, getting that with a bomb, it's it's really not very worthwhile. I think our Giga Bombs are, are best kept for later. I do wish there was like a mod that made Giga Bombs like enter a different slot or a different key to use them. Because it is annoying to like have to use my Giga Bombs next. Because I'm not gonna I don't want to waste a Giga Bomb on a secret room. And I guarantee you, on this floor at some point, I completely forget I have Giga Bombs and accidentally waste them. I, I just, it happens every time. Even when I'm like mid discussion talking about specifically that, I still somehow find a way. We've got a pretty good setup here. Like, I'm almost certain that room below there was secret room, but I can't really grab it super easily because I'll have to use a Giga Bomb. Here you got yourself a decent trinket here, nice. Well, that was a very good hit by you, good sir. Very good hit indeed. Luckily, it did not uh, hit our eternal heart. That would have been very sad. We're kind of plowing through the rooms at this rate, though. We're doing good stuff. Looking for our little item roomie. Honestly, I'm loving having pointy rib right now. 
It's doing so- like, I, it'd be nice actually in Isaac if there was like a little breakdown at the end of runs that told you like what dealt the most damage. I know that I'd be a little bit insane to, uh, to code, but it'd be really nice to be able to see. Um, let's just go straight for the boss. Actually, no, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off and try and get an extra heart first, because I could get multiple deals and I want to have more red hearts available to trade, um, if we get a deal, angel or otherwise, um, and see what we end up getting. Yeah, I'm happy to trade away HP for uh, for good angel deals, and so far I, th I think the angel deals we've had had have been pretty decent. Okay. Damages all items in the room um, and turns an item pedestal into three lemmigate and wisps. Sounds kind of useful if we get a particularly bad item or an active we really don't want, I guess. More so to the point. I'll hold on to it and then accidentally use it when I don't want to. As is customary for me. Okay, this is a good room for Peeper's Eye. Liking my little bomb dude blowing up rocks and stuff for me on occasion, that's pretty goddamn useful. Did I get Mega Mush in this room? Yeah, I did. I was wondering why I was so big. God damn, there's a lot more rooms on this floor left than I thought there would be. Not too bad. This is worth a Gigabomb, I think. Ah, literally nothing. I was hoping just all those mushrooms could have got something good. Libra, you say? Libra, you say? I'm going to take the random. Free Lemonade. See, this is the exact situation in which I pop this and get some Lemonade and Wisps. Okay, now, I don't even really know what happened there. I think that I've got booster box as one of my Lemmageddon Wisps or something. I used two cards there that I don't remember using. Start a deck. Nah. Okay. Secret room is probably... I think it's here. Ah! Oh, I, I told you. I knew I'd do it. Goddamn Gigabombs, man. What does this do again? Ooh, do you know what? I think that's pretty worthwhile. And the increased chance for Eternal Heart sounds pretty goddamn good. Okay. Let's go do our boss and see what's what. We got another charge on our Eternal Hearts as well, which is lovely. Got a peeper's eye going. Peeping and creeping. You've managed to lock yourself into a pretty bad time there, my guy. Um, oh, that was strange. Unexpected. Pop that. With our box here, we get... Every 30 shots fire a charming icicle tear. Eh, we don't have that many shots. I don't think that's quite worthwhile right now. I will, however, take this. Um, I know that obviously Peeper's Eye is pretty good, but I'm going to give this a go. See if we can get some good stuff for our contraband here. We only got two things, but eh, not terrible. Not great either. Go, my little bomb fly boy. Feast, thank you. Oh, you... Game. I hate it when that happens. It's like, oh, I finished the room. The spikes went down right as the room finished. No, no, no. That was just poor timing. They're actually going to come back up again. Bell of, Cir Bell of Circle. Transforms a random monster in the room into a harmless pig. Has a chance proportionally um, to the number of enemies in the room to transform you instead. If you get transformed, then all stats down the bell breaks till the next room. Eh, I'm not that interested. I'll take Compound Fracture and Compound Fracture. I don't actually know if having double compound fracture does anything, but I have two of them now. I have to say I do very much like compound fracture, but I I highly doubt it also works very well with wrath apparently. Highly doubt having two of them does too much to help. Yeah, that's why we wanted nine lives there. Also, nine lives is going to be insanely good on the beast fight because it doesn't take you out of the room. 
It just teleports you around. I think overall we've got a, a reasonably good setup here now. The unknown. <laughs> I seem to have the effect of booster box, which is the using random um, cards, but neither of my Lemmigetton Wisps look like a booster box at all, so I'm a little perplexed as to why that is. I genuinely don't know. 2% chance on firing um, a tier to have it spawn a rift on impact and be controllable. Pretty good. Two percent in a lot, but it's something. So you look like where the hell's that come from? Callus is also pretty good. No burn heart, sadly. What the hell kind of burn boy is that? Never seen that dude before. I lost my eternal heart. God damn it. Got stuck on a rock. Um, what the living fuck just happened to me? I don't know, but this room seems trash. <laughs> okay, health wise, things ain't going great. Lovely. And I think we are just going down to the next floor by the looks of it at this point. I uh, doubt there's too much else we can find on this floor, so let's just keep going. I suppose we could get charges and get eternal hearts, but eh. Okay. Ooh, tinted rock. Oh, bugger. That's all of our thingies gone now. I mean, to be fair, it's probably still worthwhile. That's all of our gigabombs gone now. Holy water's pretty good with those guys, because you can kind of charge into us and go directly into the holy water. Oh, I love the, uh, the mod that speeds up death animations with those dudes. Makes them way more tolerable. Aha. Also, Game Kid, pretty darn useful against rooms like that. I started watching the um, the new Scott Pilgrim animation. Uh, there's a new Netflix series of Scott Pilgrim uh, like animated series, but it's got all the original voice actors from the uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World film, which is one of my favourite movies of all time. So I'm very, very happy to see that. Um, I'll, I'll play this a little bit. See what we get. Um, yeah, I'm going to say, film that I absolutely love. So I was really, really happy to see that you got all the original voice actors. And it's way different than I thought it would be. Like, I, I kind of thought it would just be a slight retelling of the structure of the film. Like, it'd be pretty similar, but, like, different enough to, to, to have a reason to recreate it sort of thing. It's not. It's very different. Like, the first episode's kind of shot for shot, but then after that, it gets, it gets different. Hey, you get Flatstone as well here. Nice. Um, it gets it gets very different, so I don't know if anyone else is watching that, but if you are, let me know what you think. I'm on like the third episode now, I think. Started watching it today. Um, and yeah, I'm really liking it. I'm really enjoying it. It's cool. But yeah, I, I just love um, Michael Sarah as Scott Pilgrim, and um, is it Mary Elizabeth Winstead, as she called? As Ramona. It's really good. Uh, we need a full card on this floor, don't we? Which I've not been looking for thus far. I've probably already seen it, most likely, and just walked right past it, because that tends to be how that goes. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, that guy did turn into a pig there. There it is. Okay, we got ourselves a fool card. Let's go fight our boss. I'm liking having this D2 circling around us, it's pretty wacky. 
It's kind of like a angelic prism if it was randomizing tier effects instead of multiplying your tiers. I like that. It's pretty cool. It seems to be a bit glitchy every time we enter a room though, but eh, it's never hurt anyone. I love the way the wrath shots also get affected by flat stone. Nice. I see you there, little fella. We got ourselves. Doesn't matter which one of these we take, does it? Go Angel Deal. Clip of Balance is pretty goddamn good. We'll check out what's going on in here in case it's anything we really want. So far, that's a big fat no. Nothing in here that I'm really interested in. And we shall. Uh, to be fair, I'm stupid. I can just full card out, so I, I guess I might as well. Um, Rosary, I guess. Cool. To the next floor. We do have a confessional here. I, I've, I've been told, I was just about to say, I've been told I need to use confessionals a lot more. And that's proving um, very much on par right now, considering we just got an item straight away. Not an item that's good, mind you, but an item nonetheless. So I don't, I don't know if they ever got if they got changed or something, but yeah, I've been told that they're kind of worth going for. So I should I should rate them a little higher than I usually do. Oh god, man, this is not a good room for the chasing around. They all they all avoid me very very easily. And in here we've got random or I mean I, I'll definitely pay eight cent for this. I'll take the uh, the thing you want. Little lamb, not particularly good. I don't really like little lamb because it's quite dangerous. But hey, her. That's what I mean about taking deals. I just I can't not. Could be getting something absolutely trash, but. If it costs three hearts, it's at least quality three. It's at least quality three, so... Well, that was nice and quick. Kind of would have liked to have gone through those other rooms, to be honest, because, um... Would have been good for getting charges, but... Hey-ho, I guess. Doesn't matter. That's all over with now. Ooh, hello. Wow, that opened straight away. That's insane. We got ourselves a Joker card as well. Um, Devil Daggers are pretty fun. Ah! Get out of here! Yeah, I'll take Devil Daggers, why not? How does this work? Okay, I can, I can just go in and use things again. I suppose if I get enough money, I could use the um, fortune telling thing again. Not the best use, but... Now, Devil Daggers doesn't really matter all that much right now. It's only going to matter once we get to, like, the last floor. I gosh down hate this room. Nah, I don't hate this room. I specifically hate the cr goddamn crows. They just go sit back on their platforms where I can't hit them. It's just... What sadistic bitch designed these fucks? It's so annoying. I lost so much health to that bullshit. There was no need. So much health lost. And we got this guy who is a living nightmare. Yeah, I don't think I've ever not been hit by that guy. Every single time I get hit. Really? Um, game? Game? Do you wanna... Game? Hello? 
Give... Is it C21? No, C20? Yeah. Well, that was kind of BS. Uh, and to be fair, I'm pretty low on HP right now. That, uh... Those last few rooms kind of wrecked me a little bit, so... We'll see how things go. I may have been a little more... Rushed on certain things than I wanted to be. Oh, really? Beautiful. Thank you, Holy Water. Sadly, Holy Water's not going to be too much use to us later down the line. Unfortunately, we haven't managed to um, bring a single Eternal Heart to fruition as of yet. It's quite annoying. Also, this guy is uh, going to try and steal our goddamn charges. This is... This is chaos. Okay, now we're just getting half soul hearts. Okay, we're not getting red hearts anymore. Really, two of these guys in one room? Could you just not? Oh, you bitch. Okay. We actually didn't get hit by them there. Oh, but little lamb. Little lamb coming in with the with the free hit, baby. Oh my goodness. I'm fucking it all up, people. I'm fucking it all up. God damn. This has not gone well. <laughs> This has not gone well. It's Scooper! I kind of would rather have Scooper at this point. Also, yes. Yeah, weirdly, Scooper is the better item for us right now. Okay, this feels like it's going to be a really annoying room. How are you two not dead yet? There you go. One of you died, at least. Okay, this guy being stunned is really bad, because he's just not dying. There you go. My damage isn't even really that good, either. That's the worst part about it. Like, that guy took way too long to kill. You guys have got Godhead going. Can't remember how the Godhead actually ends up hitting me, but... I'm gonna stay away just in case. Oh, okay, that's how it ends up hitting me. My bad. Oh, Lord, please say we're nearly done. Little lamb, you're the worst. I, right as I said it, I didn't even realize I'd fired there. Little lamb. Little lamb, you are the worst. <laughs> I'm not even trying to utilize him and I'm- Oh, dude. The poop slick. This is... This is not going well, people. Things have gone awry. There is a system malfunction. Oh, can we stop with these guys, please? Just immediately hit me. Oh, no way! <laughs> oh my god. Lamb, let me out of here. Lamb! Lamb! Shoot the door! Oh my god. I don't know if we're making it to, uh, to the beast, guys. I don't know if we're making it to the beast, let's be honest. Let's be honest with ourselves. That got me. Okay. Well then. The fuck is this music? What the hell's this music? <laughs> Where did this come from? What on earth is this? Hold up. Hold up. 
Hold up, hold up, hold up. I just have to try dying to see if that happens every time, or if I go some sort of very, very rare occurrence. No. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.